Hi, everybody. Welcome. Good morning. We have a few announcements this morning that I want to share with you. Coming up is session six of the Master Clita, Rejoicing in the Sacred Joy of Naturalness and Ordinariness. And it's February 10th from 11 to 1 p.m. So register at zochen.org. Last one was a lot of fun, and I know this will be too, and very informative. And then, this is awesome, residential six-day meditation retreat with Lama, and it's March 17th to the 22nd in Malibu, California. We'll all want to be warm by March 17th. Those of us in the Northern Hemisphere will enjoy that, and that will be a wonderful retreat. So that's coming up as well. I want to thank Lama Surya for being here today. I'm going to take it away. Let Lama Surya take over. Maybe. <laughs> I'm taking over. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. We're celebrating the Dzogchen master, founder, master Longchenpa's anniversary today birthday. He was born in 1308, just a few centuries ago, and uh, left us 253 works, many written in his cave. I don't know how, probably with a laptop. And it's unbelievable how people used to, uh, how hard people used to work at these things. Tibetan books were like illuminated manuscripts written by hand with a bamboo stylus, a dipping, you know, in home rubbed ink. And uh, then they didn't have printing presses in Tibet. In fact, in 1308, they didn't have them anywhere. Good old Gutenberg came a few hundred years later. So illuminated manuscripts in monasteries was away. And um, in Tibet, they carved wood blocks made them into like printers, printer machines, and pressed them on rice papers to produce books of all these things and all the whole hundred Buddhist uh, texts of the Buddhist canon, the Tipitaka, which is unbelievable. And some of those woodblocks still exist. <laughs> Very blessed. So let's have a moment of silence now for all those suffering at the cruel hands of war and aggression in Gaza, in Ukraine, and other places in the world where there are hot wars, and also from cruelty and oppression and injustice and illness and all the afflictions everywhere including all in our hearts and our intentions and our good intentions, our bodhicitta, our compassion, altruistic intentions, including all in our prayers and practice today and our hearts embrace, opening the wings of the heart to include all. giving thanks for all that we have, including the possibility and opportunity to get together like this, look around the room safely, not being bombed on, not hiding in underground shelters, not being flooded or burnt out, with freedom, freedom of religion, as they used to call it in the old days. You know, it's not every country where we could get together like this, so there's much to appreciate besides our own precious human existence. 
our health, education, commonalities, electronic resources to get together like this and so on. Much to be grateful for, not to be taken for granted. And so tenuous. So it could be so fleeting, who knows? We are the place where Buddha shines through. He and I are, he and we are one, not two. He needs us. We're an as we am. We need not think, nor fear, nor plan. And we can be as free as he. He'll work his plan of liberating compassion and love through we. Imho. Ah, Om Jin Chan Sa Pema Gesa Dom Bola Yatsin Chugging Udrum Ye Pema Jan Neshe Sudra Kudu Kandra Mampo Kurke Ki Jesuda Druki Shinge love chisha su so guru pe masi de homa homa ma hum benza guru pe masi de homa hum benza guru pe masi de homa bless us guide us home ah hum benza guru pe masi de homa Point out the way, open the way. Oh, ma hum ben zagur, pemasidi. Oh, ma hum ben zagur, pemasidi. Lotus Guru, transmit to us. Oh, ma hum ben zagur, Pemasidi, who beam into each and all of us, illumining us. Oh, Mahum ben Zagur, Pemasidi, purifying us, purifying all. Oh, Mahum ben Zagur, Pemasidi, oh, Mahum ben Zagur, Pemasidi, Transforming us, transforming the world. <coughs> oh, ma, hum, ben, za, guru, pe, ma, se, de, ho. Oh, ma, hum, ben, za, guru, pe, ma, se, de. Merging with us, one with each of us and all of us. Oh, ma, hum, ben, za, guru, pe, ma, se, de, ho. Ma ho ben za guru pe ma se de ho im ho how sweet it is oh ma ho ben za guru pe ma se de ho oh ma ho ben za guru pe ma se de ho oh ma ho oh ma ho ben za guru pe ma se de ho sangha dharma buddha ben za guru pe ma se de Three jewels, three roots, three kayas, oh ma, oh men sa guru, pema sidi ho, oh ma, oh men sa guru, pema sidi ho, oh ma, oh ma, oh men sa guru, pema sidi ho, oh ma, oh ben za guru pema se de may the buddha's blessings ever awaken and illumine our minds may the enlightened one's blessing and inspiration ever unfold in our good hearts May the inconceivable blessing of awakening itself, awakefulness, enlightenment, dispel the momentary illusion we've ever been separate, incomplete, or apart. 
and homage to the Buddha in your seat. Don't overlook them. <sighs> oh, to have arrived at last. <sighs> what a relief. What a release. Dropping everything <sighs> into just being. What can be that simple? At ease, open and free. Take refuge more in being rather than doing, achieving, understanding, becoming. Oh, just being as we already are. It's not so far. Imho. We may sometimes feel far from it, but it's never far from us, I assure you. Being with a capital B plus. Awareness with a capital A plus. See, so simple, so accessible, so free, just dropping into it as if dropping into the heart cave, the heart chakra, the crystal cave, the magic mirror of mind within, uh, luminous, incandescent presence, openness and awareness, inseparable, empty, radiant, or lucid, and spontaneous, the three kayas in the meditator mind, empty, open, radiant, lucid, and third, spontaneous, manifesting, unobstructedly, compassion and action, if you like, the three kaya refuge, mamudra refuge within. Just looking, seeing, freeing, or more broadly experiencing, recognizing, or seeing through, and releasing, allowing three inherent steps to freedom. Now, this awareness is the true unfabricated Buddha within. This is the perfect time, the perfect place, the perfect teaching, the perfect teacher, perfect student, and the great perfection. Quintus Ampo, all good, all complete, all perfect as it is for now. Compassionate responsiveness comes later. Just being. Just being Buddha, if you like, if that supports oneself. Kuntasampo, primordial Buddha, not achieving Buddhahood already, always pre enlightened, as Eric Pema Schmidt translates it. Pre enlightenment, the Buddha nature, not achieved by ego, striving and efforts. All good, all complete, as we call it, Dzogchen Kuntasampo. Personification of Rigpa is a blue Buddha sitting on our seat. Don't overlook it. Blue, like the sky, or like deep space, infinite, open, deathless, dare I say eternal. Buddha called it deathless nirvana. Deathless, all inclusive, all pervasive. Buddha mind, not small, conceptual ego mind. And enjoy the joy of non meditation, Kuntasan post meditation, or unmeditation, Rigpa practice, awareness, aware of awareness, not doing so much as being as you already are, not far to go for that. Just from here to totally here, that's the direct path, the Vajra shortcut, Dzogchen, how sweet it is. Enjoy the joy of natural meditation, non-meditation, awareness alone, 
presence, incandescent presence. Uh, Imaho, way to go. Thank you. Try it with eyes open, ears open, nose open, everything open. Stop meditating and just be. Be present, be aware. Open eyed awareness cultivation helps one integrate it to daily life. Smooth out the separation between meditation and post meditation action, life action. Eyes open, ears open, nose open, mouth open, throat open, chest, heart, diaphragm, anus, everything open, decontracted, at ease. Relax the tight fist of ego grasping. Open the aperture, the scope of innate awareness, of wakefulness. Not just trying to concentrate, but sort of radiate or attune to the bigger sphere, the ultimate sphere, the big tigli, the totality, the big picture, Mahamudra, the ultimate perspective. The great tigli, the great crystal ball of Dharmakaya awareness, a living universe, a conscious world, our world. Sky gazing, space mingling, infinite dissolving, uh, Namka Naljur, sky space union, yoga, uh, beyond outside and inside, self or other, meditation and not meditation, uh, no distractions because nothing to hold on to and focus on or be distracted from, no distractions, nothing to focus on, just Awareness, aware of awareness, innate wakefulness, lucid presence, what word can encompass, express the inexpressible. <sighs> awareness alone, pure presence, as Namkai Nova Mukhachek translates Rikpa. Pure presence, incandescent presence, just being with a capital B plus, awareness with a capital A plus. See? Uh-huh. 
Just sitting, just breathing, just being uh, simple, at ease, relaxed, yet dynamically present and aware, mindful rather than mindless, awareful, awaring, awareness is a verb, uh, open to the wisdom of allowing, letting go. Letting go means letting things come and go, arise and fall, letting be, not suppressing anything that's arising in the field of consciousness, and also not being carried away by it, indulging it in chains of discursive thinking. Letting go means letting come and go, letting be, openness, awareness, inseparable, rest in the sky-like nature a Buddha mind, of awareness with a capital A, Rigpa. Not your practice, your self-improvement project. Kuntazampos, Longchampa is the Buddha in your seat. Let go and let Buddha do it, as they say. Let go and let Buddha do it through you, Himahu. Who do you think you're not? Seeing through momentary, illusory, dreamlike appearances, phenomena and mind stuff, both <sighs> phenomena and noumena. <sighs> letting go, letting things come and go, arise and fall in the stream of consciousness, letting go, just noticing all the flotsam and jetsam going by on the surface of the stream of consciousness without giving into attraction or aversion, grasping, fixation, judgment or evaluation. It's all part of this awareness and cultivation.
Ah. Enjoy the show. It's the best show, only show in town. You have the best seat. Right, your navel chakra. Dig it. Sit there. Come down from the conning tower in your head, the arid oasis of intellect and concepts into the arid desert of intellect and concepts into the oasis of the heart chakra and the body and the lower belly and the navel chakra, like an oasis, a feeling rich in feeling, just feeling, no one to feel it, nothing special to feel, just pure feeling, that's it. That's the, the tournament of Rigpa. That's Rigpa's expression or manifestation. <sighs> ah, so here it is, Imaho. Miraculous, marvelous, wondrous, yes. 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 Thank you, Maharaj. Yes. Ah. <sighs> <clears throat> ah. <sighs> Om Tare Tu Tare Duriye So Ha Om Tare Tu Tare Duriye so ha om ta re tu ta re tu ye so ha om ta re tu ta re tu ye so ha om ta re tu ta re tu ye so ha ta to tare tere sahu ha om tare to tare tere sahu ha om tare to tare tere sahu om tare to tare tere so ha om ta re tu ta re tu re so ha om ta re tu ta re tu re
Turn this way, Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Di So let me behold thee, Hey Tu Tare Tu Di So calling Tara as if from afar, Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Di So Om so om tare tu tare tare so om tare tu tare tare so om tare tu tare tare So ha tower green like mother earth emerald green like nature so ha First responded to prayers on ta re tu ta re tu so om ta re tu ta re tu so ha on ta re tu ta re tu di so ha ta re so Tara pour through us into this world with your enlightening Buddha activity on Tare to Tare So preserving and disseminating the Dharma on Tare to Tare so uh, realizing and embodying it on ta re tu ta re tu di so ha om ta re tu ta re tu di so ha uh, white tara green tara twenty one taras every being everybody a tara tara with a tara here and a tara there here a tara there a tara everywhere a tara in tara's Buddha field of tara to tara to the so ha om tara to tara to the so ha. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Di So Ha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Di So Ha Green Tara of liberating Buddha activity uh, White Tara of longevity and purity uh, with her seven eyes uh, 21 Taras, every color Tara, here Tara, there Tara, everywhere Tara, every color, every race, every gender, every species, Tara, 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 here in Tara's Buddha field of infinite array, lotus, every molecule, every spot, a lotus growing in the lotus lake of bliss and pure energy, bodhicitta, and each of us, a Tara, sitting upon it, floating upon it, sitting on the lake, the ocean of awareness, the lake of prana. Sitting on the lake of prana, not just on the lotus seat, floating on it. 
kind of tire rotating. Oh, how sweet it is, Tara. Love bomb. Unconditional, all inclusive, including self compassion and self love, self acceptance, so important. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. Tara. Ooh, Tara. Door, we door, door. Could we see Kempo's sharing of the merits? Prayer and the Millennium Prayer, please. <coughs> As we go out singing and praying and dancing and celebrating and sharing rather than hoarding the good karma from these virtuous practices and pure intentions. Through the merit of this virtuous practice, may the light of the Buddha's precious teachings remain for ages to come, the basis for every single kind of benefit and happiness, worldly and spiritual. May all the supreme holders of the teachings who uphold this living truth, who realize and embody it and pass it on, may they agree to live on for aeons, and their lotus feet stands firm in this impermanent floating world. And so may the sun of altruism and well-being in all its blazing splendor, that is bodhicitta, shine the brilliant light of the study and practice of Buddha Dharma throughout every corner of the universe. May all beings everywhere with whom we are inseparably interconnected and who want and need the same as we do, May they be awakened, liberated, healed, fulfilled, safe, and free. May there be peace and harmony in this world and an end to war and violence, poverty and hunger, inequality and oppression. May all be free from fear, harm, danger, anxiety, and insecurity. And may we all together complete this spiritual journey. One beloved community, one circle, one Sangha, one Satsang, one family, one Samaya, one beyond oneness, all the way home. And homage to Tara, to the light, to the goddess, to the Buddha, in your seat, don't overlook them. I bow to that. One of the great things I like about Vajrayana practice, about Tantric Buddhism, about the secret sacred Mantrayana with its mantras and mudras and yantras, in other words, with its mantras and gestures and also gestures or movements of awareness inside and visualizations or creative imagination, is it kind of challenges one's own limiting self image limited and limiting self image like who do you think you're not it's for somebody else to be tara or to be like a buddha not me not little old me just a little cog in the wheel just a little piece of sand on the beach here not just that also as so many call it it's not particularly buddhist language but authorities traditions masters call it the sovereign self the supreme self you know the buddha mind the indwelling deity the david ishta devata the indwelling deity the christos the, the, the light of christ in the heart the godhead god's pieta in each of us the godhead 
So when we practice these sadhanas and we did let go of identifying and remembering who we think we are and our whole narrative of our whatever unhappy childhood or other things and who we think we are and our limits, you know, the limits that go with being like this or like that, like I'm just a woman, I can't be a president or I'm too old to get enlightened now, I wish I met the Dharma 40 years ago or other nam tokes, superstitions, nam tokes, ruminations, discursive thinking, nam tokes is the word in Tibetan, it's a good word. Nampa Tokpa, um, spurious thoughts, superstitious ideas. Who do we think we're not? So, practicing being Buddha, sitting, assuming your Buddha seat. I like the word assume, it has so many meanings. Assume your Buddha seat. Is that too much to assume? Take your Buddha seat. Who's it for? Usher in the kingdom of Buddha, as a good book says. Show everyone to their Buddha seat. Rest on your Buddha seat. Come home to yourself, to your Buddha seat. Sit in front of your own hearth and heart. Why get lost in the snowy jungle of doctrines and philosophies, isms and schisms, searching for the footprints of the great elephant of enlightenment that's already sitting at home in front of your own hearth, in your own easy chair, on your meditation seat, or whatever. Vajrayana visualizations like yourself as Tara, the Buddha of compassion, Avalokita, or Kuan Yin, whoever loosens the self-identification and the bonds to one's limited self-image or worse, their you know, negative body image or negative self-image. So many people suffer from these things and low self-esteem, etc. But being Tara, now you're talking green Tara, white Tara, Red Tara, purple Tara, so many Taras, you know, black Tara, of course, brown Tara. Look it up. I'm not making it. I'm not stretching it. 21 Taras, infinite Taras. Some people say every female a Tara, but that's a little limiting, isn't it? There's no gender in the Buddha nature. All beings like Tara, not just who they think they are. In English, all children of God, not just those who subscribe, belong, follow, all children of God, including the creatures, great and small and even unseen. Anyway, that's the Buddhist way of looking at things. All beings are endowed with the luminous Buddha nature, not just Buddhists, not just human beings, not just men, need I add, not just human beings. All beings endowed with the luminous, primordially pure and complete Buddha nature, Buddhaness, Tathagata Garbha, Sugata Garbha, the ends being, with a capital B, not just being a separate being, but being itself. That's where profound meditation occurs, not just striving in your self improvement project to get somewhere. Of course, striving on the path and making progress and gradually is very important, but also not losing sight of the forest for the trees that we're caught in at the moment. The bigger picture, the view from above, sweep, swooping down from above with the bigger picture view while climbing up the spiritual path or mountain through below through relative practices according to our capacities, inclinations. Swooping while climbing. It's very dynamic, it's active, it's fun, just try to avoid crash landings from being too extreme, like extreme nihilism or extreme materialism, on the other hand. So this is our Vajrayana or Tantric Buddhist path, Mahamudra and Dzogchen are the penthouse of the Vajrayana, let's say, even the clear light yana, the fourth turning of the wheel. Not just Hinayana, Mahayana, Vajrayana, but the fourth yana, non-dual yana. You can look these things up. 
Anyway, today's long tempers or yesterday, you know, depending on what hemis what time zone you're in, according to what Tibetan calendar you're using. Long Chempa's anniversary, his birthday, not his wedding anniversary. He he was born in thirteen oh eight and died, you know, I don't know who can remember thirteen sixty three or seventy three, it doesn't matter. What's important is connecting with that principle, like his main disciple, the fearless master Jigme Lingpa did, who channeled, who received, who wrote down, who envisioned during Jigme Lingpa's three three year retreats. Yes, three three year retreats in cave, who could receive direct transmission and vision from Longchempa, who had lived thirty hundred years before, Longchempa's main disciple, Jigme Lingpa, Jigme Lingpa in the 1700s and writing down the Lung Chen Nintig, the mainstream of Dzogchen teachings in the modern times that we practice from, that all the Nyingmapa and Dzogchen teachers use and practice from Lung Chenpa's teachings. It's called the Lung Chen Nintig, the heart essence, the nucleus, the heart essence of the great perfection, Lung Chen Nintig. If Jigme Lingpa can do it, we can do it. It's only a few hundred years later. There's no time in the spiritual mind. There's no time in the spirit. There's no time in ultimate reality. Invite Longchenpa, Jigme Lingpa, your own representative guru, into your life, into your mind, on your seat. Co-meditate together. Intermeditate together, into being together. All of the Dzogchen practice, uh, all of the Vajrayana practices of prayers and offerings and blessings and receiving blessings, it's all becoming it, trying to become Longchenpa or Padmasambhava in Guru Yoga, trying to become enlightened. But first becoming it, then being it. That's the important part. Not staying on campus like grad, permanent graduate students our whole life, getting a life ourselves and paying it forward to the next generation. First becoming it, then being it, then just being, not even being a separate being. Three stages of the innate great perfection. Becoming the Buddha on your own seat, then being it, Buddha on your own seat, then just being itself, which is Buddha, this Buddha nature, which is non meditation, unmeditation, just being. So, this is our practice. This is a kind of advanced or profound description of it. You can think about this. Um, does anybody have any questions? I noticed that there's some thing in the chat room, but I don't can deal with the chat room while I'm chanting and clapping and being myself. We have two <laughs> questions. We have two questions. Um, one is, could you explain the stage in spiritual development called the dark night of the soul? What exactly triggers it? And what does an individual experience? Well, that's a big and interesting um, question. That phrase comes from Catholicism. There's a famous classic book, The Dark Night of the Soul by St. John of the Cross. Of course, it represents something that, you know, all we caterpillars go through, becoming moss and butterflies or whatever the metaphor is. What triggers it, no one knows. You could say karma, you know, like when the time is ripe, it might be losing everything, it might be tragedy, uh, or it just might be going so high and so deep that you just lose yourself. But, excuse me, it's disorienting, and you don't know which way to turn. That's the dark night of the soul, which, as they say, which is uh, the darkest, uh, darkness is the darkest before dawn. So... 
you don't hear this much about Buddhism, but you know, you can look it up, you can read about it. No one knows what precipitates it, but it's a kind of a ripening. It's a stage to go through where you let go of everything, where you lose everything, where you're stripped of everything you know, and it's disoriented, no more reference points. So it can be dark, it can be scary, despairful, I don't want to say depressing, that sounds like a technical it's like, um, diagnosis today. Despairing, doubting. I don't know if this is exactly true, but on the cross, Jesus said, Father, Father, why have thou forsaken me? That's like the darkest night of the soul before his apotheosis, before his transcendence, I guess. You know, all of these, you find this everywhere. Of course, this is a matter of interpretation. So you ask me, so, and we only have a few minutes, in short, that's my answer. Look it up. You can Google anything these days. I'm sure the dark night of the soul is defined in five different ways in Wikipedia. And St. John of the Cross is a great book, and a lot of them are mystical poems. is about his dark night of the soul before he became St. John of the Cross, the Spanish saint. And any other questions, please? Um, oh, thank you. Even Buddha under the tree when he was at, this is the Buddhist lore, the Buddhist history, Buddha under the tree before he was enlightened, Mara, the embodiment of negative forces, the great demon in this myth, in this story, Mara sent all of his uh, temptations and arrows and attacks to try to shake Buddha from his great uh, equanimity or enlightenment. That was like the dark night of the soul before Buddha's enlightenment. You can read about that in the Buddhist tale. Yes, Dory, do we have another question? Do we have our dark night? We've run out of time, unfortunately. So we have to say goodbye. But before we do that, just as a quick uh, mention, membership offers a lot of wonderful fit, but the biggest benefit is that you're helping with the mission of transmission and helping keep the meditation town hall going and all the other things that Zochen Center and Lama Surya Das offer. And also donation, please donate to also to Zochen Center for all those same reasons. Um, thank you, Lama, for a wonderful meditation and teaching today. And thank you, everyone, for being here and wishing you a wonderful day. Thank you. Happy trails. Be well. Take best care.